The man accused of shooting a Howard County officer on the run overnight is caught. Police found Steve Stefan Prather walking along Route 1 this morning. He was suffering from a gunshot wound. Brad Bell live in Laurel with the latest, including how the officer is doing tonight. Brad? Yeah, well, we can tell you that that officer, Stephen Houck, is still in the shock trauma center in Baltimore. He had surgery today, but we're told he's expected to make a full recovery. As for that suspect, he's in the same hospital after being caught right here on this corner on Route 1, just a few yards from where the shooting happened and from where he was last seen. The takedown happened just after 8.30 this morning. That is suspected cop shooter Stefan Prather strapped to a stretcher on his way to a hospital with a gunshot wound to his leg. Police believe that happened in the initial shootout. There was no gunfire this morning. We saw Prather walking down Route 1 this morning um, and were able to take him into custody. 30-year-old Howard County Officer Stephen Houck remains in serious condition tonight. He was allegedly shot by Prather yesterday afternoon as he and another officer responded to a report of a man with a gun. Police say as the officers approached Prather, shown in this security cam photo moments before, he opened fire without warning. Mechanic Freddie Pena is a witness. Uh, from here I saw the guy shooting at, at the, uh, the officer. Pena may be also something of a hero because after an all-night police manhunt, it was Freddie Pena who alerted police when he spotted an injured Prather using two sticks as crutches as he hobbled along Route 1. I was not sure, but then I was saying it had to be him. What is he doing right there? Now, Prather didn't go far to foil the massive manhunt. The shooting happened right here about 50 yards behind me along Route 1. And down here in this storm drain in about six inches of water is where the gunman spent the night. His capture nearby came as a relief to many here. Neighbor Lee Thompson says her family had a long, sleepless night. Scary. Uh, didn't want my kids going outside. Didn't know where he would go, where he was running, who would he would get. Howard's police chief says the fear is justified. The guy took a shot at a cop, so we're very concerned about you know what he may may also do. Well, it turns out this was not Prather's first brush with the law. In 2006, he was charged with multiple counts of attempted first-degree murder. He eventually was found guilty of first-degree assault, did some time, also saw, got some drug treatment as a result of that sentence. And then just two years ago in North Carolina, he was involved in a bizarre incident similar to this, where there was a traffic stop. He ran from police and then was captured in a home. He broke into a home to get away from the police. The Howard County chief says they're still working on their investigation here, but they take shooting at a police officer very, very seriously. He's going to face very serious charges. In Laurel, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News. All right. Thank you, Brad. Let's turn the page now. And talk